My brother Blake has always been known as the crazy kid. Blake has a huge chip on his shoulder. He has a lot of resentment towards me. She acts like a private school sorority stuck up bitch. He thinks that I'm the golden child because I went to a private high school and a private college. He thinks that I'm privileged because after college I got a great job and am now making six figures. Blake is a complete hothead. He's threatened to kill me, my boyfriend, my mom, and even my grandparents. He could snap at any moment. It's part of the reason I keep my distance from him. You get Blake upset and he does the unthinkable. One time I got in an argument with Sarah and I got so mad at her. I told her, I'm going to defecate on your porch. I was serious. I walked up to her porch, pulled down my pants, and I defecated all over. He disgusts me. I thought it was hysterical. My mom had to clean it up and I would do it again. What person in their right mind does something like that? It's not that big of a deal. I hate him when I think about Blake. He makes my stomach turn. He called me a recently on a text message over nothing. And I just said, OK. I was like, talk to you never. Something's not right. There's screw loose, for sure. What Sarah needs to understand is she's not my mother, and she needs to quit acting like my mother. I feel like my brother just needs to get a clue, and he needs to get a life. OK, thank you for being here. Thanks for How having me. How long has it been since you two have seen each other? I just saw him on Christmas, but uh -huh. before that, it, it had been a year. Been a year yeah. before you'd seen him, so you yeah. two don't hang. No, don't and hang it wasn't together. like I completely kicked him out of my life. We had a altercation. I was actually a little fearful, too, mm -hmm. for my life and my mm -hmm. boyfriend's life. Okay. So I felt it was for my own safety and sanity to... Uh -huh. But I asked him, I said, do you want to talk about this? And he was like, no, I'm good. And I was like, well, then... I don't want to talk to you anymore. How was he talking to you? He called me the s word over somebody called me or texted me that I hadn't talked to in like 15 years. And I guess he was out of the bars with them and gave him my number. And all I said was, can you not give my number out to people I haven't talked to in forever? You went to grade school with this guy. He just wanted to say, hey, I'm hanging out with your brother. That's all. It wasn't like, hey, I'm trying to holler at you, which is kind of what she took. Don't give my number to random people. And then it was dot, period, thanks, dot. Like, Miss Smartass, yeah, thank you. Please don't give my number out, thanks. Okay. Like, okay, bitch. That's how you read it. <laughs> That's how it was put, period, well, you said period. the first text that you sent back to me was he was trying to just hang out and this and that. I didn't know who it was. It's he not like I had his number saved. Does that seem like a reasonable response to you back to her? Yeah. <laughs> That's what she is all the time. She doesn't change. Why do you think I don't want to hang out with her anymore? I hadn't seen her in a year. That was my goal. And I plan to keep that going, the streak. Yeah. Why do I want this in my life? I don't need this. Do you have a story or a question for me? Click the link in the description and tell me what in the world is going on.